Hi, welcome to the Excel Works series of video tutorials. And this video will demonstrate how to use the integration function in QuadF to compute multiple integrals of any order. This tutorial assumes the viewer is already familiar with using QuadF function for single integrals. Let's begin by accessing the help page on multiple integrals from the website excel-works.com. Here we have a standard form of volume integral. The steps to compute this integral are straightforward. We define the integrand function f of x, y, and z, just like we did for single integrals. However, here we need to use three variables of integrations. Uh, for example, x1, y1, and z1 for x, y, and z. Uh, we may also want to define separate formulas for the uh, limits, if they are variable, uh, for easy reference when we define the uh, integral formulas. We will show this during the examples. Uh, the next step is to define individual in, uh, integral formulas for the inner, middle, and outer integrations, uh, with each one having the proper limits, uh, variable of integrations, and referencing the next one in row. We will demonstrate this through a couple of examples while it becomes clear uh, how to perform these steps. Let me start Excel and uh, move on to the first example. Our first integral is a double integral which evaluates to 1 over 6. Uh, it also includes a variable limit and an infinite limit. We begin by defining the integrand, uh, exponential minus x minus 2y in uh, arbitrary self or choice. Again using x1 and y1 as our variable of integrations. Uh, next, uh, we are going to define uh, the innermost integral, the first integral, in formula in a separate cell. Again, we choose A4. I'm passing a reference to the integral in A2. My variable of integration is the y. Um, and my limits my lower limit is x1 and my upper limit is infinity. A uh, couple of remarks here. Uh, first of all, Excel evaluates a value based on these for this formula. However, this value is uh, intermediate value. It's uh, it's not something that we really interest care about, or does not really affect the final answer. So we can may just we may just ignore it. Uh, I have passed. Uh, we have a variable limit here, and I've passed it directly as a through the parameter, the definition of this limit. Uh, I could as well define this in a formula on its own uh, in any cell. For example, I could choose C1 and define equal X1 and then pass a reference to C1 instead of X1. But for convenience, since a simple limit, we have the uh, convenience of passing the def definition directly through the parameter. Next, I'm going to write the outer integral, uh, which goes from 0 to infinity uh, over the X1 variable. And notice here, my integrand is the entire inner integral, which is defined in A4. And my variable of integration is x1, and my limits are from 0 to infinity. And I execute the outermost integral, and I can cal calculate the answer, 1 over 6. Uh, these are really the steps. It's as simple as this, just nesting the integrals. The only uh, point to recall here is, or remember, is actually the uh, the inner integrand the inner integral formula itself is a uh, is the integrand for the outer formula. Our second example is a triple integral, as you can see here. Uh, we begin by defining the integrand one minus x and its own formula using x one as our variable integration. We have three variables, but the integrand only depends on x one. Uh, next, I'm going to define the uh, inner integral formula. My variable of integration is z1, as we can see here, and my limits go from 0 to 6 minus 3x minus 2y. Now I have the option to define this as a formula in a separate cell and pass its reference, 
or I could simply pass a definition through the parameter which is more convenient so I'm just going to type 6 minus 3 times x1 minus 2 times y1 Excel computes a value that you can simply ignore it uh, next I'm going to compute the middle integral over the y1 variable in the same manner now for my integrant for the middle one is in fact the inner integral defined in a4 which I've just defined and my variable of integration is y1 as you can see here we're integrating over y1 my limit for the middle integral goes from 0 to again 3 minus 3 over 2 times x1 again Excel computes an intermediate value and we can simply ignore this value uh, lastly I define the outermost integral over the x1 variable and the integrand for the outermost integral is actually the, the middle integral defined in A5 this is what I'm, we mean by nesting and my variable of integration for the outermost is x1 we are integrating over x1 and my limits are constants from 0 to 2 now evaluating the third integral or the outermost integral computes the answer of the integral which is 3 this is really all there is to it it's very simple if you are consistent you can carry on computing integrals of just about any order and any complexity and you have the option to define formulas for the limits or simply pass them uh, online and uh, pass their definitions online in the parameters one advantage of this nested integration scheme is that you have full control over the individual integrals that uh, make up the uh, multiple integral uh, for example uh, you can select different algorithm for the inner middle and outer and that uh, might be sometimes necessary for expensive integrations that involve non-smooth non-linear integrants over a wide uh, limits uh, wide range of limits so for example uh, even though this is a simple integral we may want to use adaptive for the middle and inner but restrict the outer to use uh, fixed rule integration so all we have to do here is use the optional argument and specify the algorithms to be QK15 which is a fixed point integration scheme but use the default for the middle and inner one which uses a form of uh, an adaptive scheme obviously we get the same answer but this might uh, improve performance and more expensive uh, integrations. Uh, thank you for listening. Uh, please continue to check the uh, website excel-works.com for uh, updated videos and information.